right guys, Tom Aro here with another video and today I want to address a topic that I wanted to do for a long time and I've been getting a lot of requests to do it. It's uh, escaping bottom side control. Now, side control can be a very frustrating position to escape from, especially if you're on bottom. Um, in my personal opinion, it's easier to escape the mount than escaping the side control. So we're gonna go over three simple and highly effective escapes that you can do at any level. These escapes worked for me since I was a white belt, so enjoy the video. Just a quick note before we go into the video, if you do like this type of content, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel to get notified of my upcoming video, I will appreciate it a lot. So let's go into the video. So before we learn how to escape this position, we want to understand first what our opponent want to do for us on top. So for him to get a good side control, he want to get a good underhook under our hand and getting a good cross face under our head. That way he can control and have a good control on our body um, to prevent us to escape. So the first thing that we want to do on bottom side control is getting our elbow tight, preferably getting our elbow and knee together to create enough space. But if that's not possible, so we want to close our elbow tight to our body and having a good frame to push our opponent off of us. Now, the first escape is fairly simple, is getting an underhook with our hand under his armpit and creating a rocking motion uh, to prevent our opponent to stop spin to our back. With that motion, we can create enough space to rocking back and forth and exposing his back, uh, getting his back from the turtle position or just getting a single leg and sweeping our opponent. Now, the second escape is fairly similar to the first escape, but this time our opponent put a bit more pressure on us, chest to chest pressure, so it's harder for us to get the high underhook. So what we wanna do, we wanna get our hand glued to our chest put our body to the side and creating space little by little to get a good grip on his leg. Now, the moment we get a grip on his leg, we wanna pull ourselves up to our knees, um, getting a good low single leg or exposing his back and getting the third position, whether it's taking his back or just finishing the sweep. Now, the last escape is a bit different from the first two escapes that we just did, but you wanna mix things up a bit. So we're gonna start by uh, bridging up creating an action reaction uh, and while our opponent pushes back into us we want to spin under to a kind of north south position ending up and completing the roll while you're facing your opponent in a headlock position now notice that my hand is glued to his hip that way i can push him over my hand and it's enabled me to roll under and getting up on top from there you can choose whatever you want to do you can either take the guillotine and finish the fight or you can spin uh, around your opponent to control the turtle position or just trying to take the bang. So here you go. If you do want to know how to drill it more effectively, then go into the link right in the description. It contains my free ebook on how to drill effectively for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It contains more than six different methods on how to structure a good drilling session and how to do situational sparring the right way. It's completely free. Uh, if you do have any other escape that you like to do from side control, then let me know in the comments below um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!